Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be taking the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is the purple tinted one and just putting a pump all over my face, rubbing it in and distributing it evenly. Next, I'm going to be taking the Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer. This is in the shade Venus. It's a really beautiful shimmering, I like to call it a glotion. I'm just dotting that all over my face and then rubbing it in evenly once again. I really like to wear this underneath foundation because it gives you a nice luminous glow. Next is the Dior Skin Dior Forever Foundation. I'm just taking a pump of this in my hands actually. I'm going to rub it in with my fingers. I find that doing this just makes it look more like second skin and looks a lot more natural as a base. Next, I'm taking the KKW Beauty Concealer in shade 3, and I'm just going to be going over the blemishes that I have on my face. I was breaking out. I don't know if it was hormonal or what was really going on, and I'm just going to let this dry. Next, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown, and I'm using the Anastasia, I think it's just the 12 brush, and just lightly going over my brows. I kind of wish that I filled in my right brow a little bit more than this, but it is what it is. And I'm taking the Lancome Source Styler. This is in brown. It has a really interesting little spoolie head on it. And just going over my brows to help blend. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Contour in shade Light and lightly contouring. I was going to try to do the lip thing that I saw on Tati, but I was like, no. And just lightly blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And you can see how far that concealer spreads. Mm -hmm. Just going over my blemishes a little bit more, blending everything together, and I felt like it needed another layer, so that's what I did. I'm taking the Buxom Mykonos Wanderlust Blush. I'm going to be using this on my eyes and my cheeks today. I'm applying this with a Kylie fluffy brush. This came with, I think, the blue palette. I don't remember what it was called. Royal Blue, I think. And just going over my eyes with that. This is a base shadow brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going over my lid a little bit more and blending out my lower lash line with that. Taking the extra concealer that I place on my blemishes and blending it out with my finger. Just kind of pressing it into the skin and letting the warmth of my fingers let it melt into my skin more and help make it look more natural. I'm taking the Glossier Water in Light Medium on a Lime Crime brush. This is from their Hot Stuff set. Lightly tapping off the excess and blending it on the lower part of my face. My forehead and a little bit around my mouth area. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. I'm applying this to my lower lashes. And a Charlotte Tilbury brush that I got in a travel brush set. I actually really like it for applying blush. Going over my cheekbones with it. And the bridge of my nose and just kind of blending everything together into the contour. I felt like I needed a little bit more warmth, so I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and just going over the contour that I had. I don't normally do powder on top of cream. I would do one or the other, but I felt like this look needed to be warmed up a little bit because I was going with such a bright lip, so this was like a last minute decision to do that and just bringing it down my neck a little bit. This is the Becca Opal Pressed Powder. I really like this shade. It's a little dark for my skin tone. I'm taking the Ana Zoeva highlighting brush, tapping off the excess. You can see how gorgeous that shade is. I love it. And I'm just bringing that on the high points of my face and kind of blending it down a little bit to give an all over glow instead of just having like a stripe on your cheek. It kind of just makes it look a little bit more luminous all together. Just blending it around, making sure everything looks nice and highlighted. I'm taking that in the inner corners of my eyes and also up on my brow bone. And you can probably just stop here if you didn't want to do a bright lip. It looks really summery and glowy, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Unattached. I really like these lip paints. This is like a nice red-orangey color. It's super bright and pretty for the summer. You can see how pigmented it is. It doesn't take much to put on. I didn't need to dip into the bottle more than once. I also find that these are extremely comfortable and wear really nicely throughout the day. I don't experience any flaking or dry lips or butthole mouth, if you know what I'm talking about. 
So that's it for this look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and the five minute look series. I have more colors coming your way, so stay tuned. If you have any special requests, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.